So, kuna vitu mingi, okay? Wenye attach on culture. So, unaweza enda mahali like ukienda Uganda. Wanasema at their ladies kama wanakuja kukusaw, they kneel down, okay? So, that's part of their culture. <laughs> What is culture? Tu masoma culture ni nini? What is culture? Culture ni nini? Yes, wanjiru. People way of life. Wanjiru anasema culture is a people's way of life. Intercultural heritage education in this current world can be promoted through social media, for example, through Facebook, WhatsApp, YouTube. It can also be promoted through seminars. Seminars can be organized and people are taught about it.
Cultural heritage, in one word, it means inheritance. The importance of creating cultural awareness, it enables us to learn the stories of the past events. Uh, through non formal education, we can create this cultural awareness by posting them in the social media. Like cultural heritage, in one word, we can say it's artifacts. It helps in gaining economic. It helps in gaining economically for our country by printing of billboards, banners, and telling people about the importance of cultural heritage. I can express cultural heritage in one word, like a kind of a tradition or an inheritance. Um, the importance of cultural heritage is that. One, it has uh, economic importance, some um, value or, to our country. But again, it also provides uh, a forum for people to learn about their uh, past uh, cultural activities and uh, cultural life. Um, as a youth, uh, I can use non formal uh, ways uh, to uh, teach about uh, cultural heritage, like, for example, creating Facebook accounts, as, um, WhatsApp, YouTube, and then I post there. Uh, related uh, articles or document, uh, documents about uh, the same, like photos of uh, historical site, uh, artifacts, or other uh, archaeological remains. So this is what we will do. You will run, ask his name, come and tell her. She will go run, ask his name and come and tell her in that way. Very fast for two minutes.
I'm advantaged to just understand what is cultural heritage and I know these are good things or maybe practices that were in the past, the practices that we are, are having them presently and the practices that will continue in future. So for us cultural heritage or for me cultural heritage, these are those practices or norms or traditions that were in the past. They are today that we are practicing and they are the, the ones that we want to preserve for the future. So we can do a lot of things to promote cultural heritage in our country. One of the things is that as a nation we realize that many people don't uh, afford maybe to visit those cultural sites because maybe you have to pay to go there. So maybe what uh, we can do maybe is to uh, partner with the government or urge the government to uh, consider mainly you can say the student maybe when they are learning in school to be able to access those cultural heritage sites, not just seeing them in books. So one thing is maybe just partnering with the government to make the subsidies in students who are visiting the, uh, the cultural uh, site. For me, cultural heritage in one word I can say it is Ligas. This is the Ligas. Yeah. My name is Sandra Nanjala. I am a volunteer of CoHelp Kenya and I am glad to be part of the CoHelp team project in Kenya. I would uh, like to say that cultural her heritage is or rather our monuments and sites, artifacts that depict our culture and they hold the signif significance of our culture in uh, Kenya. Uh, to promote cultural heritage we could uh, say that because this gen young generations we are referred to as millennials, I would say that as the generation is growing, as children are growing, we should be able to make uh, we should be able to make them be knowledgeable about the culture culture that exists, where they come from, and how culture affects our daily life. Because culture is there, and it's it's going to be existent for generations to come. Cultural heritage, I'll say, it is a symbol. My name is Sela Wasikenda. I am a volunteer at COHEF Kenya and a participant in the current ongoing fusion project. Cultural heritage to me is the monument size or practices and activities that a people do or a, a culture. In our country, which is Kenya, I would say we should embrace more of our ethnic languages because we have more than 42 ethnic languages. If we use languages to improve our culture, I think that is the way to go. Language. My name is Stanley Sekilo. I'm the program manager of Bintike Foundation Kenya. And the cultural heritage to me is um, the pride or the treasures that define who we are and what defines our way of life. Uh, in our country, Kenya, yes, we have the Ministry of uh, Natural Cohesion and Integration. My call to the government is to make sure that this ministry is empowered, given enough resources so that they can be able to go out and reach out to the citizens and even empower them and create awareness about um, cultural heritage and what our culture really is in Kenya. Our treasure. Kumbuka Kenya, Ecuador, Mbali Mbali Pia, Mbradi huu, 
wa Italia nilipata kufurahia kwa sababu tulisoma tamaduni mbalimbali na jinsi ya ambavyo watu wanaishi kwa tamaduni hizi pia uh, kwa kusoma tamaduni mbalimbali pia tunaweza aelewa jinsi ya kuishi na watu kutoka hadi tofauti na kuelewa walivyo na mbona wanaishi maisha na jinsi ya kusoma tamaduni za na kuelewa tamaduni za watu mbalimbali pia tusaidia kuweza kujua vile um, na uh, tutasaidia kuendeleza hali ya kimaisha na pia uh, uh, kuelewa ni maswala yepi ya kupewa uh, kipaumbele. Uh, mimi kama uh, Derek ambapo kama nitolea kwa majibu ni faia na kupata uh, exposure mzuri uh, na pia kuelewa mambo mengi kuhusu tamaduni mbalimbali kwa sasa ni hai tu na nashukuru kwa muda huu nashukuru kwa FK Kenya kwa kunipa kwa kunipa fursa hiyo na pia niko 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 radhi kuendelea na mipango na miradi mingine mbalimbali sana kusomesha na kufanya watu wengi muhimu wa wa tamaduni wetu sisi kama wa Kenya na pia kuheshimu tamaduni kwa majina ninaitwa Brian John Murunga na nilikuwa mmoja ya vijana ambao tuliweza kuwakilisha nchi ya Kenya katika project ya Fusion huko Italia. Na nasema nataka kushukuru sana kwa ajili ilikuwa ni project ambayo ilinipatia uzoefu mwingi sana hasa hasa katika uh, hali yangu ya kimaisha niliweza kupata mambo mengi sana ambayo ninaweza kujivunia kuwa niliweza kusoma katika um, mji wa Italia na pia katika masomo yetu ya online ama ya mtandaoni niliweza kusoma mambo mengi sana lakini kitu ambacho kilinipatia experience sana ama naweza sema nimepata uzoefu sana ni kuwa niliweza kusoma tamaduni nyingi na nikajua kuwa tamaduni zina uh, mwingiliano kuna venye tamaduni zinaoana Uh, mnaweza kuhamsikizi kwa vitu vingi kwa vitu vingi lakini kuna pahali ambapo mnakutana na hapo the meeting point unakuta kuwa there, kuna 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 mambo ambayo mnaweza kubaliana na pia kuna mambo ambayo hamuwezi kubaliana na hayo inafanya kuwa tamaduni yako pia inakuwa na na na, na ile unaweza sema kuwa uh, iko na, na na uniqueness Uh, na si kumaanisha kuwa ni, ni mzuri kuliko uh, um, ama, ama ni bora zaidi kuliko ile nyingine hivyo ninasema kuwa ile ilinipatia challenge sana na pia niliweza kujifunza uzoefu uh, kutoka niliweza kuelewa kuwa tamaduni uh, hizi kuna need ya kuweza kupitisha hizi tamaduni katika uh, vizazi vyetu vijazo unakuta kuwa uh, kuna watoto wengi hawajui tamaduni zao na hivyo ni kana kwamba hatuweza hatujakuwa hatujapata nafasi ya kuweza kuwafunza ama hatujapata nafasi ya kuweza kupitisha vizuri kwa ajili tamaduni zetu nyingi tume tunasema tu kwa mdomo hatu jaziandika hivyo fusion iliweza kunifunza kuwa de, kuna need ama kuna need ya kuweza kuweka zile tamaduni katika vitabu ili kwamba tukoweze kupitisha katika kizazi kijacho na pia niliweza kujifunza kuwa um, Uh, kuna vitu vingi sana katika tamaduni tofauti ambavyo vinatuunganisha kuliko vitu ambavyo vinatutanganisha. Hivyo unakuta tamaduni za watu kuna vitu vingi sana vinavyotuweka pamoja kuliko vitu ambavyo vinaweza kututenganisha. Alafu pia experience nyingine niliweza kupata kuwa uh, mimi kama mwalimu niliweza kupata changamoto ya kuweza ku create games ama kuweza kuunda michezo ambayo ninaweza funza watoto katika darasa. Hivyo hata ninaweza kwenda kufunza watoto wa tamaduni zangu kuweza kushika tamaduni zao uh, kupitia michezo kwa ajili umeunakuta kuwa uh, um, miundo misingi ambayo tumeweka katika masomo yetu mingi mingi haiguzi sana uh, 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 michezo katika vitabu unakuta kuwa uh, michezo ni ya uwanja tu lakini michezo ambayo inahusiana na masomo hatuna kabisa hivyo niliona kuwa hii fission ilinisaidia sana na cha mwisho sana fission iliweza kunisaidia kutembea dunia na kuweza kutangamana na watu wengi na niliona kai hii fission ilikuwa ni project ambayo ilikuwa ya manufaa sana katika maisha yangu na pia katika a, a, safari yangu kama kijana hivyo ninashukuru sana na shukuru kila mtu ambaye alikuwa alihusika na mweze kubarikiwa ili kwamba tukaweze kujifunza sisi wote katika sanaa hii jambo kwa majina naitwa Yasin Abdallah Ndeta 
Uh, mimi ni kijana ambaye pia niko ni volunteer katika hiki kundi cha Kohep Kenya na ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kushukuru Mungu kwa muda ambaye tumekuwa nayo katika hii program ambayo tumekuwa nayo ya Fusion hakika imekuwa program nzuri sana ni program ambayo imenisaidia mimi kibinafsi kama kijana kutaka kuzu, kutaka kujua zaidi na kujifunza mengi kuhusiana na tamaduni zetu na pia kujifunza tamaduni za za, za, za watu wengine kutoka nchi zingine na ningependa pia kushukuru kwa maana nimejifunza mengi kujua zaidi na pia kutaka kujua zaidi kuhusiana na tamaduni zetu na pia historia ya tamaduni zetu nyimbo za tamaduni zetu chakula pia za tamaduni zetu kulingana na na, na, na sherehe tofauti tofauti ambayo huwa inaambatana inabata, nayo wakati tunakuwa na sherehe katika tamaduni zetu hakika imekuwa imekuwa program nzuri sana na imenifungua macho zaidi na kuelewa vyema ni vizuri nisiache e, tamaduni ambayo ninaijua na ni, ni vizuri ni enzi na nikumbatie ili niwe ambasada ya kufundisha vijana wengine kuhusiana na tamaduni zetu na pia tamaduni zao na pia umuhimu wa kuhifadhi e, historia ya tamaduni zetu na pia kuwaeleza historia ya, ya tamaduni za watu wengine hakika pia nilipata fursa nzuri ya kuenda kule Italy Palermo ambapo tulikuwa na program nzuri zaidi ya kuhusiana na tamaduni na jinsi tutakavyoendelea kuwa ambasada nzuri ya kuelekeza na kushare mengi kuhusiana na tamaduni za watu wengine. Nilijifunza mengi na na, na ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kusema asante kwa wafadhili wote kwa wote ambao walihusika wali, wali katika uh, program hii ya Fusion hakika ilitujenga sana kama vijana na tunaamini ya kwamba jinsi tu, tu, tulivyofundishwa na tumepata uh, mengi masomo mengi kuhusiana na tamaduni na jinsi tutakavyo tuta kuwa walimu wengine ili kuhifadhi tamaduni zetu na historia ya tamaduni zetu na pia ku, kuwa na nafasi ya kutembelea vituo ambayo imehifadhi baadhi ya historia ya tamaduni zetu Adha, uh, kwa hayo yote ningependa kusema asanteni sana Mungu wabariki na Mungu awatende mema. Asante sana.